Hello everyone. Welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Sunil Kumar Sahu from Informatica MDM team. In this session, we will see how to configure message triggers in Informatica MDM when installed in JBoss Enterprise servers that is EAP servers. In the agenda of this session, we will have a quick look on JMS configurations in Informatica MDM. Then we will have a live demo to see how to create a JMS queue in JBoss EAP server and use that queue in MDM hub as an outbound queue to publish messages on data changes. This is a very basic architecture of message queues in Informatica MDM. It basically have two type of queues. One is inbound queue which is used to process SIF requests that are asynchronous in nature. It is by default created by hub server installer while installing MDM. The second queue is outbound queue. It's an optional queue which needs to be manually created in server for publishing messages in data changes. For the external applications that can process them further based on their business needs. In this slide, I had just highlighted the important points about the queues. As we discussed, inbound queues are only for asynchronous SIF requests and these are system generated queues while outbound queue are optional queues that one needs to create manually in the app server and then with the help of message trigger setups we can use these outbound queues and publish message XMLs to these queues when there is a data change in base object. These queues can later be used by external applications based on their business needs. Let's have a quick demo to see how to create an outbound queue in JBoss Enterprise application server and use that outbound queue in our MDM hub console to publish data changes. We will first see how to create an outbound queue in JBoss EAP server. For this we need to go to the JBoss EAP installation directory. Here we need to go to the standalone configurations and open the standalone full.xml. This is the configuration file which we by default used for installing MDM hub. Here search for JMS definitions. Here you will find a JMS destinations tag. Inside this tag there is a JMS queue tag which is used to create a queue in JBoss EAP server. So in, so in order to create an additional outbound queue we need to make use of this JMS queue tag. Here we, can here we can see that there is already a queue created that is our inbound queue. This is our inbound queue. Cyperian.sif.jms.queue now we will create an outbound queue. Just copy the entire tag and paste it in here. Now give any name to this queue. Give the same name in entry tag also. copy the name and paste it over here. Now save the file. Now let's start the JBoss EAP server. Go to the bin directory. Run the standalone bat by providing standalone full.xml co configuration file. Now let, let the server get starts. It seems the server is started now. Let's launch the JBoss admin console to see whether the queue is created or not. 
in order to launch jboss admin console go to the browser type the ip so this is the url to launch jboss admin console now here go to your J jms definitions under queues tab you can find your sample queue created here when you click on that sample queue you can find there are no messages that is the messages are zero because it is newly created now moving forward we are going to add this queue in our mdm hub console let's launch the hub console go to the message queues right click on this message queue add the message queue server the name of this message queue connection factory needs to be same as uh, what i am going to provide here that is cyperian dot mrm dot jms dot xa connection factory click on ok now right click again on this and add a message queue here provide the name of the queue that will be sample q q u e u e or you can go to the xml and copy the entire path from here paste it over here and click on okay we need to use this queue for message trigger so select this radio button now we will test the connection of this queue in order to test the connection just click on this test button so here you can see the message saying the test to the queue is succeeded a test message was successfully placed on the queue so let's go to the jboss admin console and refresh it so we can see there are two queues because i clicked on twice on the test button if i click once again on the test button if i refresh so it means the queue is functioning properly and the messages are going to that queue successfully now set up now let's set up a message trigger to make use of this message queue so let's set up a trigger to monitor changes on this base object in order in order to set up a trigger we need a package created over this base object let's create a package first the package is created successfully now let's go to the schema go to the message trigger setup click on add message trigger here give a name give any name to this message trigger select the package 
now select the outbound queue which we just created here just select the event on which you want to publish the da XML data to that outbound queue I am selecting adding and updating a record mark these two checkboxes for admin source system click on the columns on which you want to monitor the data changes and click on finish now so the message trigger setup is done now if I add a record in this base object this message trigger will identify the event of adding a new data and will publish the data changes as a XML on this outbound queue which we just created so let's see this process we'll go to data manager I select the base object and the put package there are some data already existing in this table I'll try to modify one of this record okay before editing we missed to generate the JMS schema let's go to the SIF manager and generate and deploy over a specific JMS schema so the API is generated successfully we will check if there are any out of sync objects or not there are no out of sync objects so it's good to go now let's go to the data manager edit any record and click on OK before clicking on OK I'll just show the count in JBoss admin console we can see the number of inbound messages are 3 let's go to the hub console and edit this record so here in JBoss admin console if I refresh this I can found the number of messages is increased by 1 that is it is now 4 that means the message XML with the data change has been published to this outbound queue in order to verify that we can go to CDPO's MQ data change and query the table here we can see there is one entry with a send state indicator saying equals to 1 that means the message is sent successfully to the outbound queue this is how we can add a outbound queue in JBoss EAP server and use that queue in MDM hub console to publish data changes for external applications for exploring more on JMS messaging in MDM please refer Informatica MDM configuration guide under resource kit we would love to hear from you you can write to us at support videos at the rate informatica .com. you can also reach us in with the help of Twitter just use infa support thanks for watching informatica support videos